Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Aries. With your general reading. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This reading is for the 21st of July through the 21st of August. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, Aries. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. I feel karma coming out of these cards. Here we have the chariot card. We have the ten of pentacles. We have the five of pentacles. We have the seven of swords, the temptations card, and also the two of wands. Somebody really needs to hold on to something because here we have the chariot card. And I really, really want somebody as tempted as you may be to try to decide which direction I should take. Source is saying to you, always take the high road and not just like, okay, well, I just, you know, in talking about it, like, well, that's there, this and that sources don't even talk about it. You physically say, I need to detach from something because this is what I'm seeing right here. Here's a temptation. That's why I said temptation. The enemy is definitely on somebody's heels, which meaning like that when I say on your heels, okay, I'm speaking. Obviously, the enemy, the enemy is not a person, right? It's not a physical being. Source is really trying to get somebody to walk through their vault door. Like Source is really trying to expand somebody's horizons, right? And so to go from five of pentacles to ten of pentacles, like somebody feels left out in the cold, like somebody feels like there's something that they don't know about or they're not really sure what's going on, something having to do with family, something having to do with legacy, right? So a source is saying, you know, you may be feeling tempted. This is the I feel sign, right? And obviously tempted. I may be feeling tempted to do something devilish. Whatever that may be, I may be tempted to go um, anything, whatever devilish means to you, right? I may be tempted, you know, to do something that's going to burn them, burn their business, fire them up, get frustrated sources, like release all of that, because I'm trying to help you open up your vault door, be in receiving mode, not just of the physical existence of wealth, be in receiving mode of this information. I'm telling you because things are already in moving in your favor, um, Aries. And so this is where you need to be saying, God, I am wealthy when it comes to patience. <laughs> Speak it into existence. We are in a waxing crescent moon phase. There's two situations in particular that somebody is still like, somebody is still waiting for two situations in particular, something to change. So it's just like, move on from that. Just move on, pick up these two swords and move on because I'm trying to give you everything you asked for in that vault. Whatever it is, not not vengeance or anything, but if you want something like, I want my business to just skyrocket, take off. I want a new job. I want something else. So source is saying it's two situations in particular. Two situations could be, uh, or two energies, excuse me, could be your demons, fear and doubt, uncertainty about your own future. It could be addictions or whatever. So those, those demons could be tied to a hundred different things, right? But as soon as you pick up those swords and say, you know what? I'm picking up the low vibrating thoughts. I'm picking up the low vibrating um, conversations about it. I'm, 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 I'm putting that fire out. I'm rerouting that fire. I'm redirecting that fire towards something that's possible. So somebody may be going on a trip somewhere being near water. Like I need to calm my fire down because I'm too tempted. Like I, I'm, I'm just at this point, I'm too tempted. And I'm trying to tell you, God is trying to... I'm, Source is trying to open up somebody's vault door so you can go from the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. We know the number five means it's a pivotal point, meaning that you've been around this before. So here it's coming back again, opportunity for a major blessing to come through your path again. And it's just a, you know, it's the same demon, the same demons, right? Again, they're not people. They are spirits, your demons, right? It's the same temptations. When I say demons, I'm talking about temptations. It's the same temptations. And sources say, like, until you get this, until you slow down and stop, you know, working so hard, I got I got to pick up another project. I got to do something else. I got to keep myself busy. Sources is like, until you slow down and learn how to be in receiving mode, you're going to keep experiencing the same thing over and over and over again until you just get, until you wear yourself out. Here we have the Six of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Magician card, the Two of Cups, and also the Star card. So Ten of Pentacles came out twice. Source is really trying to make double legacy wealth for somebody. Like Source, is, it's almost like, well, we know with Source, you can, you can kind of sort of stand firm on that. That's not shaky ground, right? The enemy is always trying to give you some kind of, 
you know, well, if you do this, it's not going to hurt that. And then you get frustrated and drained all over again. God is like, I got something you can stand on double legacy here, right? So continue being a bright light in dark spaces. Continue being, in, you know, inspirational to people all around you, but move on from something else. Move on from something else. Like if somebody is like, that temptation is real heavy because the stakes are high. It's, it's double legacy wealth here. So that could be your legacy tied to your child's legacy, could be tied to your sibling's legacy or your parents' legacy or something. It's double, and it's a lot of money attached to this. So sources, like if it's something that is kind of like standing out for you, where you feel like somebody is leaving me out of something, I don't know what's going on, and you tempted to vibrate low, I'm just another light worker that's shining a light on something, right? I'm definitely not your God. Wouldn't want to be somebody else's God. So here we have clear messages are coming through. Clear messages are coming through. So it's just like, you better move on from something. Because here we have the deep disappointment and heartbreak. So somebody, you know, that wealth and that patience was what somebody wants to pray for. Like, God, thank you for wealth and patience. Not pray for it, but just thank God for it. Thank you, God, for patience. Like, thank you. Help me to find something else to do in the meantime. Like something constructive, right? Where I'm not even, every time I think about it, I toss it into a burning bowl. Whatever it is, fear and doubt connected to people, places, and things, I need to toss it into a burning bowl and go on about doing something else so I can try to get my rest. So even if they have, the message has to come through a dream or through a video or through a complete stranger, whatever, I'll receive it. I hear it loud and clear, and I'm in obedience mode. So I do see soulmate energy coming across somebody's path. Soulmate could just be a really good friend, somebody who understands you, they get you. I mean, you know, soulmate is. Anyway, look it up. Here we have the um, Six of Swords. And so I do see somebody eventually moving on from something. And, you know, the depth of emotions that you may have had about a situation. Sources like you don't need to have a depth of emotions about something I've already told you to move on from. So, like I said before, somebody's learning. Somebody is definitely learning. It's all it's gonna come all gonna start coming together where somebody feels like, you know what, now it's starting to make sense for me. Now it's gonna start making sense to me in a way where I feel like, okay, I got it. I got it, I got the message loud and clear without having to be, you know, hurt or broken hearted again. You know, deeply disappointed or heart or hurt again. So the moon is in a waxy crescent moon in Virgo, right? But before it was in Virgo, it was in Leo, which is one of your sister signs. So Leo at the highest frequency, we're not talking about any Leos that you know, profess that they live a great life. Like they're really not as afraid to shine. You know, their bright light, their healing energy, those kind of things, that positive energy. And that's what Source wants you to kind of sort of take a page out of that book. You may have Leo somewhere in your birth chart, but then after that, the moon in Virgo, which we are currently experiencing right now, is helping you to look at it from a divine feminine side of things and to get rooted and grounded in the earth. That's why somebody is like, okay, I had emotions as deep as the ocean about some things. And this could have been mixed emotions. I love that person so deep or I love these people so deep, but they're hurting me and I'm so disappointed or, you know, I'm just waiting for some answers. I'm waiting for some closure. So it's just like, mm -mm. I need you to sail away from it because you are good enough. That's the moon in Virgo is helping everybody to understand you are good enough. You came here with purpose, gifts, and talents. I need you to focus on that. So somebody definitely feels left out of something, but I would strongly encourage somebody not to have negative conversation about some things. I can't make anybody do anything, but I'm saying I would strongly encourage here we have Ace of Cups, the Death card, Six of Swords, the Temperance card, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So, like I said before, um, Six of Swords came out twice. Source wants you to, it's been an uphill battle, uphill climb when it comes to something. And Source is saying, protect your heart, protect your, your creativity. You know, I'm trying to send soulmate energy across your path. So this is not something you want to mess up. You know, here we have the um, temperance card. And so definitely have a guardian angel to just really inspiring you to say, look at things from an expanded view. If you have history of being deeply disappointed and it's going back and forth and back and forth, whether it's a job, uh, whether it's a romantic relationship, friendship, family relationships or whatever the case may be. Source is saying, use that as like physical you know, uh, um, physical evidence that, hey, I need to, when I sit down and looking at a pattern of behavior and how I keep getting disappointed, I get my hopes up high and I get disappointed again, almost to a point I'm about to zombie fire out. 
before a zombie fought out and, and ruined my own double legacy, my own double legacy wealth here, maybe I need to move on. Death card. Yeah, death card. I need to move on from something, right? Because my life don't feel like rainbows. See this rainbow right here? I don't feel like, I feel like it's just like, when, when does my rainbow begin? Like, when does the rain stop? Source saying you got to rise above all of this and see it from an expanded view. Here we have the King of Cups. Um, and so when I talked about karma, because I felt it real heavy in the cards, remember karma is not good or bad. It just is. So whatever energy that you're putting out into the universe is going to come back to you. That's why, you know, before I even pulled this card out right here, the chariot card, you see the dark, the dark and light of situations of feelings. And then the devil card came out right after the enemy is really trying to get somebody to like, it's like a somebody got a devil on one shoulder and an angel on another shoulder. So it's just like, you better take the light side. <laughs> Because that thing can fall either way. So here we have the Queen of Wands. Get back to something that keeps you feeling happy, charismatic, and free. Like motivational. Get King of Cups. When you um, feel like you are just getting low on emotions and you're feeling frustrated. Source is saying, get near some water. Drink some water. You know, do your juice fast. A lot of people like juicers. You know, do juice fast. Things like that. To flush out all the toxins in your spirit. So that you can um, move on. So, um, like I said, before I even laid the cards down, I mean, like, really laid the cards down, I felt karma. Like, I just kept. So, you, we are, we, we can control that. Like, in terms of, like, put, so you have a negative thought about something attached to people, places, person, place, or thing. You can say, oops, let me go write this down real quick. Let me go toss it into a burning bowl. Let me get back to what keeps me happy, charismatic, and free. I don't want that. I don't even want to be in that that confusion messing up my money because somebody still feels like that's how God is getting a message through to somebody through their money. And somebody still hasn't figured it out that it's the, the, you know, talking about something, the thinking the negative thoughts. Here we have 34, go get a massage. Somebody may need to go get a massage, work out all the kinks, work out all the kinks, work out all the kinks. Somebody may have some like some blockages in their lymphatic systems. Go go somewhere and get a massage, but make sure before you go get a massage, you interview that person. Like what did I say before? You are good enough. Yeah. Somebody may feel like people are harshly judging them, but sources like everybody has their own universe. And if they if you want to be a part of their universe, you will be under their judgment because it takes a lot of you gotta remember how the world trains people or condition people backwards. And they use religion and use other form, other methods of programming through media, through all social media now, right? Through media, newspaper, print, whatever, books to program people. And so you're returning back to pure consciousness and people are learning and age doesn't equate to wisdom. So people are learning how to set boundaries and rules and enforce their rules and boundaries to their universe and for their universe and so they have to be the judge jury and executioner just like you have to be for yours so you may be tempted to think or talk negatively about somebody who is enforcing their rules and creating boundaries but sources like leave it alone that's their universe you don't have any dominion over their universe only yours sacrifice sometimes surrender is painful God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. And we're talking about agape love, right? So it's it's a sacrifice to love. So something is definitely, something has ended. And you're definitely moving on, you know, from something. But recognize it's time to get real serious about creating and enforcing rules in your universe. If people want access, B, number one. Don't drink all of life from one flower, for there are many to taste and many to explore. That's right. So I want somebody to look up the spiritual, um, you know, what bees symbolize. I already know that, but I want you all to look it up. Put yourselves first. Put yourselves first. A lot of great things are trying to come in. A lot of wonderful things are trying to come in. And so you got to learn how to be in receiving mode of the good. You've already been in receiving mode of the disappointments, the bad, all those other things, feeling left out, you know, judged, whatever. But source is saying people have just as much right to judge you as you have to judge them if they want access to your universe or you want access to theirs. So that's just a part of it. Source is saying somebody is learning that. 
and you're going to have to be okay with saying, I need to move on, you know, from something that just doesn't, that distracts me because it's affecting somebody's money. This is the five of pentacles. Somebody left, feels left out in the cold when it comes to wealth, pentacles. 24, I am generous. You have a heart of gold, Aries, and you're very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and you're able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. And so keeping along with that same energy, that number six, two and four, six, is you going through a rebirth and recognizing that, again, age doesn't equate to wisdom. You're learning that everybody has rules to their universe and you'll be under their judgment just like they'll be under your judgment. And if you're seeing that, hey, I, once I gave them access to my universe, it's causing that much of a distraction where now it's affecting my money. I already know what it is. I need to go ahead and detach completely from something so that I can go on and, and, and open up double legacy. This double legacy could be your legacy along with your children's legacy. It could be yours along with your spouse's or partner's legacy. It's yours and somebody's legacy that Source wants you to move on from. But it's still something in your universe where you feel like you don't have closure or you don't feel like you have full answers to something. Detach, 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 detach. Source has shown you enough. So um, that's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. And um, like I said before, at the end of every reading with this waxing crescent moon, you know, you can um, use positive affirmations. So here are some of the positive affirmations that you can use. Aries, here are some of the positive affirmations. By now, you know, with these cards, I use a lot of um, the cards from, you know, a lot of you all have um, either created the cards, like somebody from here created these cards. They're amazing cards. So I'm also sharing you all's products, <laughs> you know, online too, whether it's your book, whether it's your cards, whether it's something. And so, again, that's another way where somebody, if they start seeing, you start seeing your products and stuff on the channel, you know, my products are being shown here, there. That's another thing that can keep somebody, you know, focused on opening up your vault and focusing on your legacy as well. So here we have affirmations for courage. All things are working out in my favor. I have the power to rebuild myself. I am not my circumstances. I rise regardless of my past. I honor myself through my actions. I honor my truth through my words. I am stronger than yesterday. That is what I have for you, Aries. I will see you all on... What was I getting ready to say to you all? I'll make sure I don't leave out anything. There's no shame and embarrassment in, in, in anything that you may have felt like you were left out of or like you felt like you were being harshly judged. It's just, once it's out of your universe, so it's just saying just release it in love. Um, you, you cleanse by fire, your fire sign. So just toss it, the fear, the doubt, whatever your demons are attached to people, places, and things into a fire. You can flush it down the toilet. You can put it in a trash bag. Throw it down the trash chute, put it out in the trash can, but get it out of your spiritual house. Sage, do your cleansing, all of those things. But also look up B, the symbolism of bees uh, or a bee. If you start seeing bees and it's going to start making sense to you again, that's God's way of sending messages to you as well. But don't let the tempter, you know, tempt you to vibrate on a lower frequency. Um when there's so many people who look at you as being a light in dark spaces, don't allow the enemy to tempt you when it comes to certain people, places, and things. Every time you think about certain people, places, and things, you start talking, you start, it's like grinding your gears and getting you that frustrated and upset where it causes you to start having negative conversations. Remember, that's all that energy you put out into the universe that's going to come back to you. That's what I have for you, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.